Hey guys, Nicole Sauce here with another Thought of the Walk, and I'm not walking today, as you may notice. It is episode 53, and I put a picture up while I was out on the road of stopping at a rest area and making coffee. And I was testing a new travel coffee making solution because I have a pour over cone, but I'm always trying something new. And I was trying, or I was testing out the final press and everybody was fascinated by it and asked me lots of questions and asked if it was a mason jar French press. So I said I would do today's thought of the walk on that. And I'm gonna describe it verbally as well for those of you listening to the audio podcast. The final press is a device that presses, right? So it can press coffee and it fits on a standard mason jar or anything else. It comes with this small mouth mason jar lid attachment that you can put it on. And then when you make coffee, it has a little cap that you can close so it doesn't spill. So the cool thing about that is you could make a cup of coffee in a mason jar and drink it from the mason jar and it's one less thing to have with you. However, backpacking, I wouldn't do that. I would just do it in my camping cup. And here's how it functions. You put coffee into a mesh metal basket that is a cylindrical shape and then you screw it onto the press. You put the hot water in and then you swish it around for a while and then you press it down. So what you're getting here is sort of, it is kind of like a mini French press. It's kind of like an espresso maker. You're getting that forcing of the water through the grounds while you're on the road without bringing a lot of equipment. So today I thought I'd just show you how that works. I've got, you know, a, a jar of pre-ground coffee. It's holler roast, of course. And I, I have a spork and I just take two spoonfuls from my spork and put it in there. I leave a little bit of, of air space between the top and the bottom. And then the thing you need to be careful about this is if you screw to the left, it unscrews the mechanism and there's of course a spring in there. And, and that means that, you know, you mess up all the parts fall apart and it doesn't plunge. Right. And then I just take the Mason jar and pour boiled water into it till it's near the top, dump in the, the final press, which was, by the way, I fell prey to a, uh, a Kickstarter advertisement. I was like, well, I'll give it a try. It's not that expensive. And then I just swish the jar a little bit. I'll move it around, you know, up and down to, to kind of steep it, get the water all through the grounds. And you can see when I do that, it's already darkening. And then this is where you plunge it. And that's, you know, you put it down, it pulls, it both pulls the water through the beans and pushes them out when you do that. So I'll do that five or six times. And then I don't like super bitter, bitter coffee. So I don't do this for very long. Unscrew the lid, plunge it down. Cause then you want to press all the water out, let it drip. And you end up with a pretty good cup of coffee ready to go. And then just, if you want to serve it in the mason jar, of course, you put the lid back on. Personally, I like my insulated mug and the jar gets hot. It's so hot. I can't touch it right now. Um, anyway, pour it in. Ow! Pour it in. Um, usually my water is not that hot on the road. And then add your milk or whatever and go. It's a pretty good cup of coffee. Pretty hot cup of coffee today. What it tastes like. It tastes like... A French press meets espresso. So when you do a French press, you leave the water on the beans, you know, three to four minutes, and that gets more of the bitter flavor out of the beans into the coffee. This is a real smooth cup because it's only in there for a minute or two. And it's, it's closer to an espresso, but not as strong as an espresso. So you have that smooth espresso flavor without the bitter. And I do like it. Um, from a compact travel standpoint, it doesn't take up that much room and cleaning it's super easy. You just unscrew the thing. Just every time I say just on camera, it's like, you know, no, nothing ever happens easily on camera. So what I do is I'll just, and I'm going to use this Mason jar lid. I take it and I tamp it and that comes out and then I can just rinse that in water. Um, if you have extra boil, boiled water, you can just sort of, you know, put it in the Mason jar push it around a little bit, dump it out, and you're good to go. I'm going to actually let that cool before I dump it because my boiled water is hotter than usual. So that's super hot. Um, I prefer coffee at about 104 degrees water, not 180, which is about where we're at. 
and then I put everything up dump the ground somewhere where they can do some good like my flower bed that's right before below here and then just pack her up right pack her up and go and that's what I was doing is I was so tired after day three of driving because I drove a little over 28 hours to get to the coffee roaster whoo that's hot um drove a little bit more than 28 hours they have a silicone cup that this this will sit in and then you just Rinse that as well, so the, the grounds. It cleans up real easy. So why I like this better than the, uh, there's a, what is it, the mini press, um, is that it cleans up that fast, and then I'm ready to go. I put it back into my coffee kit, and I hit the road, or you can store it in the mason jar, however you want to do it. It's good to go. So that's, that's the fancy coffee maker. I hope you enjoyed this thought of the walk. If you did, definitely give my channel a like on Odyssey or YouTube and a follow so that you're a notification bell so you get notifications i'll be i am now starting to link to float as well but they are in the middle of launching out of beta so i don't know how that's going to look after float float launches but i'm trying to be on as many avenues as possible just because uh youtube's really starting to crack down on things and at some point i'm sure they'll go after coffee because why not because coffee's bad for you right no it's not anyway i'll be back on sunday with another thought of the walk make it a great week